As the era of Internet of Things emerges, powering massive IoT devices becomes a great challenge in need of immediate attention. And the radio frequency wireless power transfer, based on electromagnetic wave, has emerged as a candidate technology to remotely replenish electric power for IoT devices. But despite the great potential of the RFWPT, there are some points which are needed to be improved to adapt to real life. The foremost challenge lying ahead in the path towards a practical technology is attenuation caused by obstacles in the middle of power beacon and IoT devices. Wall, furniture, and even human, everything that faces in the middle of the transmitting path is an obstacle when it comes to EM wave propag propagation. In order to solve this problem and make it more feasible, one could adapt an intelligent detecting surfaces, or simply IRS, which consists of hundreds to thousands of unit cells. IRS is one of the promising technologies that is capable to configure the wireless environment intelligently by include some changes to the incident EM waves, whether it's phase, amplitude, frequency, or even polarization. Let's say we have to transfer energy to the IoT device under this kind of environment. Due to the obstacle in the middle, the delivered power could be extremely low. But by deploying our IRS and implementing our proposed algorithm, the transfer energy level can be kept stable. So now, we would like to show you the description of our project and how it works. First of all, in this work, we aim to implement the system which operates as 5 GHz. Then for the power beacon, we have designed and fabricated a phase array board, an array antenna post with 64 elements, and an amplifying board. Then, we combine it together as a sandwich structure. The IS itself consists of two parts, a meta surface and a control board. The meta surface has 16 by 16 unit cells, in which each unit cell is integrated with a pin down to provide different phase response to the incoming wave. And finally, the IoT device is also comprised of multiple antennas. This part has a rectifier so that the received IF signal can be converted to the DC power and then this can be stored to the supercapacitor. In this work, we use beam scanning method to change both transmitter and IS to obtain the best configuration. Indeed, 8 beams of the transmitter and 16 beams of the IS are scanned consecutively. Then, the combination with the highest received power will be selected. The first test conducted in the real-life environment where the power beacon is located on the corridor and the IoT device in the classroom. This setup is for comparing the received power with and without proposed distance. In the top left corner of the screen, you can see that there's no IRS. We measured four cases of received power with different position for power beacon and receiver. Secondly, we verify the battery of the IoT device can be charged with proposed system. You can check the test bed setup on the left side of the screen. Lastly, we'd like to show the difference between with and without IRS in intuitive ways. Let's see this graph together. Based on proposed algorithm, power is transmitting with optimal pattern. At this moment, we remove the IRS. As you can see, the received power directly decreased. And when we move it back to original location, optimal power received as before. And let's move the receiver this time. No matter where the receiver is located, 
our proposed system can transfer the optimal energy to the receiver. With introduced phase array and IRS, we expect that we can adopt our works to communication system as well.